Hi everybody, Todd Martin here uh, again today with another practical success principle on social media. Today I want to talk a little bit about the do's uh, of uh, social media and social media marketing. So first, this is kind of starting with the presupposition that you have a fan page on Facebook. And so uh, first is remember why people buy, like from a consultant um, or uh, a person like that. Uh, or a coach, etc. People buy because they like, respect, and they trust you. Or high ticket type of products. Like, respect, and trust you. So the key to, to uh, any marketing business on the internet is to build a list, to build a database uh, first off. So using social media and Facebook and a fan page, you can start building a list. I'd really call it more of a, of a pre-list because um, it's, uh, it's in the realm of relationships and not so much centered around a product. So think of it in terms of a pre-list. What you want, might wanna do is start by sending out items of value to um, the people on your, your personal database to give them an opportunity to like your fan page and to follow you. And then once you, they get over to your fan page and start following you, then they're gonna start seeing uh, your posts on a regular basis. And then you're going to want to cultivate those relationships. Um, so, so you're going to want to post regularly. If you post once every week or once a month or whatnot, then, then you just, uh, you know, in marketing, um, you know, when the, when a uh, distance, what's the, I can't remember it right now, <laughs> right now, the, uh, the saying, but, um, Basically, distance doesn't, or time away doesn't make the heart grow fonder with regards to marketing. With marketing, you want to stay in front of people, but not annoy people. And so you want to stay in front of people with things that one way, shape, or another are providing them value. So number one, I'd say make sure you're providing value that are consistent, or value that's consistent with the values surrounding the type of product or service that you are providing. So if you're providing, um, if you're a coach and you're helping people with personal development, then you're gonna to wanna to have products that are consistent uh, with personal development and personal growth, et cetera. Uh, next is to, because what that ultimately ends up doing is, is when people see that consistency and see that you're providing them items of value that are surrounding the values of, of what you're promoting and you're giving that away, um, they begin to trust you. If, if every time that you send something out, it's a marketing ploy, marketing ploy, marketing ploy, then they, um, they second guess how genuine you are about really being in the business to help people. People like to do business with people that are there to help them get things they need. People don't like hanging out with people that are trying to sell them. So keep that in mind. Um, you wanna have posts that inspire, educate, entertain, People will buy from people that they like. So provide them information that makes them feel good, that makes them laugh, that gives them a valuable education to solve some of their problems. Um, and so trust, like, and then the third is post things with professional value. So in the lines specifically, not just related to, but specifically the profession that you're in. Again, if you're coaching in uh, business development, you're gonna wanna provide um, education, information, tools, resources that surround um, your professional uh, focus. And when they see the, the type of professionalism, the ideas and things that you can bring out that they hadn't thought of, it elicits respect. So what you're doing is, is you're um, using that social media platform to uh, constantly on a regular basis relate to people in such a way that provides them value, but not just any kind of value, the kind of value that elicits trust, that elicits them to like you and elicits them to respect you. And then every so often throw out an item of value that's of more value and give them an opportunity to come over and opt into your main database where you're able to provide more, um, better items of value, bigger items of value, um, free master classes and things like that for those people and begin to, um, to educate them and so that they can start to see the value that you bring to the marketplace and to the table. And those that are interested and need that then will gravitate towards you and reach out to you. But those are just some tips on using social media 
It's uh, start by rem remembering why people buy. Secondly, uh, build a list, but really this section is building your pre-list in the social media, and you want to use it to cultivate relationships that, um, that make your audience feel trust for you, to like you, and to respect you professionally, and then give them the opportunity to segue into your uh, business database and to feed them more information from, from that perspective as well. All right, guys, I hope these tips were helpful for you today, and as always, don't wait for it to happen. Go out and make it a great day.